Hey girl. Hello everybody, my name is Simply Velkin and in this video I'm doing a pick a card for your love life, what we can expect to see in your next relationship, you know, just a little, a little bit of insight from the universe, a little bit of insight from tarot on what we can expect your next relationship to look like. I was requested to do an updated one actually because I have an old one and yeah, I just, I don't know, with 2020 feels like appropriate to have like an updated one for this coming year with this whole new energy going around, right? So yeah, if this interests you then let's just get started with this. I'll show you guys the four piles. All right, you guys, like always, I will leave in the time, uh, in the description below the timestamps for each of the piles. What I want you guys to do is to close your eyes and to take three deep breaths. And then once you open your eyes, I want you to look at the piles and which one, whichever ones is calling to you the most. That is the pile that is meant for you. Pile number one is Carnelian. Pile number two is Blue Topaz. Pile number three is Moonstone. And then pile number four is rose quartz. And so again, guys, I want you to close your eyes, take three deep breaths, whichever pile is calling to you the most. And when, after you open your eyes, that is one that is meant for you. You may feel called to more than one pile. That is perfectly okay. That means I want you to check out both of the piles. And there may be some cards in each of the piles that are meant for you. That's perfectly fine. But yeah, let's just get started. All right, people who chose pile number one, let's see what you, what messages we have for you guys on what your next relationship is going to look like, what we can expect from it, you know, just a little bit of like what the dynamic is going to seem like, even just as well as just insight as well into like how to get into your next relationship. So yeah, I'm really excited to break down these cards for, with you guys. So the first thing that's calling out to me the most is that, hmm, I feel as if you guys are at a point where you guys need to start, I don't want to say you guys have kind of given up on love, but you guys have started to lower your standards in a sense. I feel like you guys are just stressing about so many different things, finances included, that you guys almost feel like there's just so many different stresses going on for you guys that it's like... People just have dis disappoint you. Your work is disappoint disappointing you right now. Like everything just seems to disappoint you and you're just losing faith and just, you know, what is to come for you. And, you know, I feel like with this, because you're just feeling so, I don't know the word for it. You guys just have like, when it comes to relationships, I feel as if you guys are kind of have just like a, Ugh, like a negative opinion just from past experiences. Maybe you guys have had just like past bad relationships. And so for your next relationship, I'm getting for you guys that there's a level that I think feel as if like, you know, just to warn you guys ahead of time, I feel like this is a, before you guys start your next relationship, there's going to be a little bit that you need to address in within yourself first. I say this because we have the platypus card, which says to stop complaining and focus the attention on the blessings in your life. You know, I feel uh, this is usually when the platypus card, card comes forward, this is usually spirit's way of trying to tell you just being like hey like snapping up like change your view you know the energy that you're putting like the, what's going on in your brain right now the what you're putting your energy and your focus on that's what you're projecting right now so you're you're wanting like this fulfilling relationship but your attitude your mindset your actions that you're taking in your daily life are not reflective of that you know you're putting out something of a very low vibration and i feel like for you guys in pile number one you guys have a pretty high standard and with that high standard because after enough times that you're just disappointed sometimes i feel like maybe some of you guys are considering just lowering your standard perhaps or because so many people are not matching your highest standard because you're just a try you know your vibe attracts your tribe and you right now your vibe is just not giving justice to like what you truly could attract i guess is what i'm saying and because of that it's kind of making a little bit hardened rough around the edges which is nothing wrong with that you know, I'm a little bit rough around the edges as well, but this just is like a little bit of a warning. I feel like for your next relationship, either either you're not going to start your next relationship until you address these things, or if you do get into your next relationship, there's going to be certain things that you need to address with yourself to, you know, soften these rough edges because we have the physical touch is important card. And when this card is talking about when it brings this card up, this is kind of a, um, usually for my people who feel as if, like, the actions that they do, their feelings should go without saying, you know, did you, I feel like some of you guys, maybe that, maybe not that you're not romantic, but you, like, you have the romantic thoughts, 
And so you'll do like gestures that you see as romantic, but like for what it means, what it represents and to other people that's just not processing it that way. And so maybe if you're interested in somebody and you have your eyes on somebody right now, you know, you kind of are dropping these hints that to you seem obvious, but to them it's just they have no idea. So you need to start, I feel like this card is kind of asking you a little bit to start being a little bit more forward, put yourself out there a little bit, just as well as you, you know, changing your vibration, changing what energy you're putting out there, pile number one. You also want to start being, putting just more effort and being available in the first place and you know part of the reason why I feel like you guys haven't had like a successful or I don't want to say you guys haven't had a successful relationship but I feel as if you know you feel drawn to this reading for example because of there's some like something that you're questioning with like your relationship status and I feel like it's because the the mental hasn't been addressed a little bit you know you have to as I said like soften these rough edges that you've developed because we have the six of water talking about memories from your history or childhood issues regarding children you know yeah I feel like this card is very much so an example of for you guys that you know past childhood traumas you know I feel like that's such a cliche thing to do and like I don't want to be like a therapist it's like what's your childhood look like but honestly I feel as if like how you guys handle intimate relationships now is very reflective on how your intimate relationships were as a child. And when I say intimate, I feel I don't want people to think intimate in like in a sexual way. When I say intimate, like the kind of relationship that you would hope to have with like your parents is intimate, meaning that you are able to be open with each other and just be able to just be just let it all out there sort of thing and just be able to connect and bond with one another. So that's what I mean by intimate. So if your close your first closest relationships that you have in your life which is usually like your family your siblings and stuff like that if they if you were had like a rough upbringing that was like a poor example you may repeat that pattern so six of water is trying to warn you that you don't want to repeat the same patterns that your family once exuded as well or once exuded exude as well so you don't return like you know if there's like some toxic patterns maybe um your parents just ended up getting in like a divorce or perhaps just they're together and it's just not toxic like it's just not good for either of them you felt it as a kid you know you want to break that chain so make a conscious effort of shifting from that shift your mindset from that really start doing a little bit of shadow work you know new moon in gemini this is talking about communication is key this is definitely another push for you guys in pile number one to really start letting it be known, start voicing what it is that you want. This is really, I know not a lot of people like to hear this because a lot of people like to be pursued rather than to be the one that's pursuing. But I feel like for you guys in pal number one, you're being heavily pushed to start pursuing, pursuing things. Start putting yourself out there a little bit. I say this because we have the king of coins in reverse and all these cards kind of start going together a little bit too because we have the king in reverse, we have the six of wands and we have the knight of cups and i feel it like these kind of this card combination this what, what's telling me here especially with all these communication cards that you guys are having is that you guys kind of need to start putting yourselves out there a little bit more you know be willing to show your vulnerable side because until you start showing your vulnerable side you're not going to ever form these intimate connections i feel like for you guys your next relationship is going to be built off of just um off of like a friendship first and foremost and i know like i feel as if like some people say like that isn't that how most relationships start but i feel as if like uh just kind of what i'm getting right now what i feel pushed to tell you guys right now is if, if you have your eyes on somebody and if you especially as like you don't know where you're at in terms of like if you're even friends or you're just like man i really want to be this person's friend this is the time right now for you guys to really start just communicating start being forward start putting out start doing actions that really make it clear of your intentions of what it is that you want maybe right now it's just friendship and you don't know that and then it'll develop into something beautiful but right now you have to start focusing on communication because the king of fire again is talking about focus 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 communicate with vision and be a leader you know this is again like such a push for you guys to start communicating and so i kind of wonder at some point of like how when is the last time you guys have been in a relationship i feel as if you guys in pile number one really want to be the one that's pursued rather than doing the pursuing but i feel like this is time to rather yeah, we have the new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. This is definitely a confirmation for me that you guys are not, your next relationship, you, this is not going to be something that is just handed to you. You're going to have to actively put the work out there to really 
you know, you have this next relationship going for you because I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's not even as if like, you know, there's a few reasons to this. One, maybe people just don't know you're looking for a relationship and they don't know where you stand. And two, is they might just be intimidated by you. They might not know how to approach you. They might just assume that you're like, that people pursue you all the time and that you're not interested or anything like that. Or perhaps that, again, like you guys are just not being clear on like your intention. And so because you're expecting to receive the pursuing, that means like if they're not pursuing you then you're just taking that as they're not interested and so you kind of give off a like a cold like a cold front to them as well you know there's so many layers to this and so to really avoid this you, you know we have so many different cards for you guys in pile number one of just truly communicating how you're feeling yeah like believe in the impossible part of how you want to start communicating is just being willing to be like you know what just taking that risk yeah this person may intimidate you as well you know I said that these other people are intimidated of, of coming to you and pursuing you. Maybe part of the reason why you're not communicating and like pursuing other people is because you're intimidated by other people's presences. You're intimidated by, you know, someone in your life right now. And that's why you just chose to settle for a friendship or even if you could call it a friendship right now because you feel like you're, that's all you're deserving of. You wouldn't, you feel as if like they would never consider anything deeper, you know, that's, and so it's like you have all these cars that are constantly pushing you guys to pound number one to communicate. And I kind of feel like that communicating with physical touch, obviously, with consent, guys, don't even, mm -mm, don't even get me started on non-consensualness. But <laughs> if you're friends with this person already, start doing, you know, like, obviously don't just go out and just grope them or anything like that. But, you know, it, it's those small gestures that really start shifting the mindset of someone else, you know? So if it's like the next time you guys go out to eat, um, if you are like start making an effort to start opening the door for them or you know even just like when you hug them just give them an extra squeeze or, or you know just holding the hug just a little bit longer just, just those small gestures that aren't creepy obviously but that will kind of just start setting letting it be known of like where where it is that you stand start communicating in these like small subtle ways and just so while at the same time fixing your mindset and like getting your energy to the level that you want it to be and just be believing that they would be interested in you have a higher self-worth you guys you know part of the rough around the edges is because you feel like you're not deserving of anything so you become hardened to the world and convince yourself that you don't need love right so yeah we have the page of earth as well which is talking about good news about financial matters wanting to do something more challenging in a new area of study i feel like for you guys in pile number one how this is relevant for you guys is that this person is going to directly, or maybe not directly, but help play a part in your career success as well. So maybe your next relationship is going to be in a workplace, or maybe what they do will like naturally just like bounce off and just like bounce off with what you do beautifully naturally as well. So for example, like maybe you're into modeling and the other person's a photographer. Maybe you're like a photographer and the other person's like a model or whatever. Think about it in that kind of way where you guys can like benefit from one another, but or at the same time just being in like an environment where you guys are both kind of in like the same field so you run into each other but yeah definitely a lot of good cards a lot of good insight for you guys in pound number one i really do hope this uh reading resonated with you guys and if it did please let me know in the comments below let me know which card resonated with you and how it resonated with you do you have any feelings on like who this person might be if you kind of already have some ideas on like who your friend might be in these cards are addressing right now i'd love to hear about it because i'm nosy but yeah and also if you love this reading please give me a like and subscribe and comment below because it really does help me so much. And yeah, until next time, guys. I love you guys so much. Bye. Hello, everybody. I'm pal number two. Let's see what we cards we have for you guys in your future relationship. Y'all, I'm really excited to see what cards we have, we have for you, what messages are to come, because pal number one, uh, they had such beautiful messages, and I'm just so excited to see what is for you guys in pal number two. So, very interesting. So for you guys in pal number two, you guys I feel like are going to get a little bit of advice before your next relationship or kind of a little bit of foreshadowing for what your next relationship is going to look like and like how to improve on it. I feel like your next relationship is going to be a very purposeful relationship, people in pal number two. And I say this because we have the death card in reverse. And usually with the death card in reverse, this is kind of like saying, as well as the Queen of Swords in reverse. And baby, honestly, the Ace of Coins as well. These three cards and the dynamic of these three and how it's working, it's kind of as if 
you know, when you have the Queen of Swords in reverse, this is, I feel like you guys are disempowered. You guys are not putting yourselves out there. And same with the Death card in, in reverse as well. You guys are definitely feeling a little bit disempowered. You guys are perhaps just like a... You know, I feel like you guys are, have re your last relationship, re your last relationship truly knocked you guys down and truly affected you. And so right now, I want you guys to think of this Ace of Coins as like the, um, the bucket of energy that you're feeding to the universe and telling, showing the universe what kind of energy it is that you're wanting. And so right now, like, you guys are filling that your, um your cornucopia, that's what's on this card right now. You guys are filling your cornucopia with this just the very pessimistic energy, I feel like, when it comes to um, your next relationship. And you may even be listening to me right now and being like, what the heck, I don't, like, I really look, you saying that it's like, what the heck, Malcolm, I'm truly looking forward to this next relationship. But truly, I feel like you guys have to do some good, a good amount of shadow work before your next relationship, because otherwise, your purposeful relationship is just going to be truly, how I want you guys to think of this is that if you guys don't address these things with yourselves, if you don't address your shadows, if you don't address these past traumatic, your past relationships and come to terms with what happened in your past relationships, you know, I want to say forgiveness is choosing to accept that you can't change what happened to you in the past. That's what you, how you want to go about choosing to forgive because I feel like you guys need to have like this sense of release right now because right now this cornucopia that you guys are filling up and showing the universe how like you want your cornucopia how you want your rewards to look like how you want this next relationship relationship to look like it's not looking that good you guys are kind of giving some spoiled putting some spoiled food in your cornucopia right now and so by doing that, you're, you, that's why I say your next relationship is going to be a very purposeful one. What I mean by purposeful one is that it's not going to be your forever, like the one that you are expecting to have for the rest of your life. It's going, your this relationship is going to come to you to teach you something. If you and it's going to come to you and teach you something because if you choose to not do your shadow work, does that make sense? So it's like the universe is looking at you and it's just like, okay, you have the opportunity to handle this yourself. You, you know, you have the opportunity to do that. But if you don't take the opportunity and do the shadow work and continuously put in the same energy into this cornucopia, you're going to manifest this pur purposeful relationship to force you out of this, to force you out of like snapping you out of like feeding this lower vibrational energy into your cornucopia. Does that make sense? And this is not even as if the universe is like bringing this person into your life as a lesson. I don't even want to come at it like this. It's like, uh, you know, again, the universe is never going to argue with you on what you're going to, what you ask of it. And so it doesn't like the universe may have its own opinion on like what you feel that what the universe feels like you deserve but you know they feel like you deserve something better but if you're saying that you deserve something at this level you know i don't even know if you can see my hand right now at this level and you truly actually feel like you deserve or the universe feels like you deserve something at this level if you're still just saying it's like no i want this the universe is going to listen and be like ah okay like we'll bring this cornucopia down with you and bring you this person into your life and because you haven't done the shadow work that's the kind of energy you're putting out there you're still putting out like this unaddressed energy right now and so truly this is the time for you guys to really start hermiting right we have archangel raziel talking about hermiting and it's very powerful to have a uh, paired with the life experience card as well because i feel as if you guys definitely have had some very impactful thing life impactful what am i trying to say some things that have, like very impactful things, significant events that have happened in your life that really have shaped you as a person. And this is not something to be embarrassed about or something that's a bad thing necessarily at all. Not at all. But because it's like you're, I feel like for you guys in pile number two, you guys kind of just like go with the blows. You guys can like take a lot of, a, take a beating in essence. You know, you can just handle a bunch of obstacles all at once and just like, you're the guy, you guys are the kind of ones that are just like keeping it moving. And so by keeping it moving, you guys end up doing some unaddressed shadow work. And so you, uh, you guys may even feel like you don't have any shadow work to work on right now. And that's fine. You know, I'm, I'm content with like thinking that you guys thinking I'm wrong for a little bit. Cause it's going to come in, it's going to happen one way or another. And yeah, I feel as if like, this is really going to be a time for you to 
how you're going to figure it out is like what I want, what I'm getting for you guys is that I'm, I feel as if you guys need to truly get away. You know, I feel like you guys truly need to get away and to start meditating because we have the Kiwi card, which is really suggesting paired with the Hermit card as well. With these three cards together, this is really a suggestion for you to really start, go away for a while and meditate and have some time alone to really digest the things that have happened in your life, digest these significant life events that have happened that really have impacted you as a person and really go through the events and just experience and just allow these feelings to come into the surface and figure out what it, exactly it means for you, you know? You know, it's, you guys have just constantly just been like, go, go, going just to survive really, just because you feel like you can't afford to stop and take a breather maybe because your past relationship really just messed you guys up that you guys have just kept it going and so you haven't had a relationship in a hot minute now and so really maybe this your next relationship is definitely going to be a purposeful one unless you do the work ahead of time so i don't want you and also you guys i keep on saying unless you do the work ahead of time i don't want you guys to feel discouraged when i say that your next relationship is going to be a purposeful one because and i know some people will feel a little bit defeated saying because they would prefer to have a relationship that's going to last forever their next relationship but take this as a positive sign and that you're the universe is still actively trying to help you develop more as a person to really start doing the work right i feel like you guys are definitely because yeah we have the new moon in aquarius bring love into the situation you guys need to really start practicing like i really want you guys to take what i say take 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 this part what i say of forgiveness is just allowing or accepting that the things that happened to you in the past, you cannot alter. And so that by that way of coming to peace with it, I feel like that's what you guys need to do is truly come peace, come to peace with it. So, so truly like take some time away and truly start meditating on these events and start meditating from a place of bringing love into the situation. You know, this is time for you to truly start spending some quality time with yourself and to really learn how to not only I mean, obviously it's important to love yourself, but really it's important for you to love the past relationships that you have been in. And I know for some people it's going to have like some, you know, like your relationships were very traumatic, but the universe is really trying to tell you, it's just kind of like asking you to put your ego to the side a little bit and to really figure out a way to come to peace with it. And yeah, maybe I'm saying like, maybe you don't want to bring love into the situation with some of your relationships, that's fine. But I feel like there's, there needs to be a sense of finality in these relationships and not just a sense of finality from an aggressive, uh, just trying to get the hell out of Dodge sort of pl place. I, I would, you guys need to come at it from a place of just being at peace with what happened and being at peace, truly at peace with the relationships. And when I say truly at peace, not, I don't mean being able to just not feel it during, not feel things during uh, during the day. And, you know, I want you guys to be able to like meditate on it. You should be able to think on the relationship in every aspect and what's happened and not have it affect you or trigger you in some kind of way. Because if you do, it's going to affect your next relationship. So it's really, yeah, for you guys, it's definitely you guys need to have like this. Yeah, definitely you guys just have some baggage to really just start letting go of and start working through because if you don't work through it then the universe is going to bring someone into you to help you work through that baggage and it's like while that can be a beautiful wonderful thing you know just just be prepared for that right and i feel like for you guys in pile number two to the end you guys is reading i feel like you guys are going to meet this person through um i feel like you guys are going to meet this person through some kind of um maybe like i want to say like volunteering perhaps or in some kind of way, in some kind of event, I wanna say, because we have the Four of Earth, which is talking about giving to those less fortunate and good business decisions, as well as the Full Moon and Taurus talking about your dreams need a practical plan. I feel like, yeah, you guys are definitely going to be meeting at like an event of some sort, or like a, it's gonna be work for one of you guys, perhaps, or maybe for both you guys. But either way, it's definitely going to be in an environment where business is involved in some type of way. So just definitely be on the lookout for that. So yeah, that's what I have for you guys in pile number two. So I hope this reading did resonate with you guys and brings you some clarity and something for you to look forward to and just a sense of direction on where you need to go for in your life and like what you need to work on to open yourself up for that next relationship. I truly hope this helps you guys. And if it did, let me know how this 
this reading did. Let me know which card resonated with you. I would love to hear about it. And yeah, if this reading did resonate with you, I would love to have a like and a subscribe and comment below because it really does help me so much. But until next time, guys, I love you guys so much. All right, people in pile number three, let's see what cards we have for you. <clears throat> so, okay, very interesting. A lot of intense cards right off the bat and a lot of water cards. Okay, and we have Pisces. A lot of water cards for you guys, a lot of emotion, which is definitely making sense for your pile. I feel like your guys' is next... All right, people in pile number three, your guys' is next relationship is definitely going to be explosive but i mean this in a very good way and i mean this like very ch emotionally charged and this i don't know very passion filled i i this is the kind of relationship i just love the idea of i don't know um that's why i'm just like smiling because i can appreciate it so much because what i want to first address are these three cards right here these three powerful trio of cards we have the world card we have the hanged man and we have the uh the magician inverted so really what this means, how I want to break this down for you guys in pile number three is like the magician card inverted. This card is saying that you guys are definitely not, li people in pile number three, you guys are not living to your potential right now. You guys are holding yourselves back. You guys are watering yourselves down. You guys are dimming your light a little bit. You're not living your most authentic, the most authentic version of yourself. Why is that? Perhaps you guys haven't, you don't truly feel attractive right now. Perhaps you don't feel like you are at a weight or you don't look in the way that you prefer and or maybe you feel like you're just out of the person's league that you're interested in right now we have the hang, hanged man as well so it's like you guys need to start i feel like you guys need to come to peace with where you're at right now i feel like some people on pile number three you guys may be in a little bit of denial about the current situation that you're in and by by convincing yourselves that there isn't a problem you don't address those problems, but you kind of know uh, unconsciously that there's there, there are problems because you have the magician card in reverse, like acknowledging that you're like not living your most authentic, powerful self. And then we have the world card that's telling you as well that it's just a lot, telling you that it's just like the moment you really start being your most unfiltered self, the most authentic version of yourself, that's really when your next relationship is going to come to you and that's when you're going to start thriving. Because what I want you guys to think about this is like, you you want the person that falls in love with you, you want this person that feels called to you to feel called to the authentic real version of yourself, right? So it's like, yeah, you, could you attract somebody if you were at a skinnier weight, if you were at a lower weight, or maybe if you're at a higher weight, perhaps you could attract other, uh, have an easier time attracting a certain type of person, but that you shouldn't convince yourself that you can't be in a relationship until that point. You know, I feel like you kind of have to put, have a conversation with your ego and to really have, realize that you have to be at peace with how you're looking now for you to enter your next relationship or at the very least if you're not happy with how you're looking right now start making active changes you know but the first the only way that you can start making active changes is still like coming to terms with it in the first place so yeah these three cards i know you guys came in for your relationship but y'all weren't ready for having some life advice right now right <laughs> but yeah, definitely. I feel like you guys are going to have a very thriving relationship because we do have love endures and we have the dog card as well. Very powerful cards. I feel like your guys' next relationship is going to be very long term. Definitely for that. But this the only way that this relationship is going to happen, the only way you're going to be able to attract this loyal, very loyal person is by putting out the proper energy is by, you know, the dogs are, you know, think about it this way. The way for, to help help you guys come to terms with some of your insecurities, perhaps, you when, when you think about a dog, a dog's just happy to see you. A dog is just, so, when you walk through the door, they're just so happy to see you. They don't care about how you look. They don't care about how you even smell. They don't care about any of that. They just love you for you. And so, love endures all of that and so i when i it can sound kind of toxic in saying that it's just like me trying to tell you it's just like oh yeah accept your accept your situation because it can your love it can be it's something that that's going to be endured it can be endured i don't want you to think that your relationship is going to just endure aspects of yourself because it's truly not but this is kind of like the universe trying to let you know have you come to peace with it being like hey if you feel like you need to be a lower weight before your next relationship, you truly don't. You're the person that comes in your life. He's going to, the, the, I say he, he or she is going to love you and still just think the world of you regardless, you know? 
the world card again, like, you know, bringing that up as well. Like, it's going, this love that he has for you, he or she has for you, is just going to be extremely loyal. So think about it in that way. And maybe this will help you come to terms with the insecurities that you have with yourself. And, you know, by knowing that this person's going to love you anyways, maybe that'll help you come to peace with your magician self and to really just be willing to just be your most authentic self because as well as like we have so many good cards because we have the new moon in taurus as well prosperity lies ahead as well with if we start breaking into the water cards we have the page of water talking about a new person enters your life and a relationship begins a new fate with heightened psychic abilities so this is tell definitely telling me that you guys' next relationship you guys kind of already know who it might be I feel like while you're getting the, receiving this reading pile number three, if you keep having a person come to mind, it's probably the case, you know, you can, don't doubt your intuition. But I definitely feel like if this person's not already in your life and you already already have someone on your mind, they're definitely going to start coming into your life. It's once you, but once you start living your most authentic self, because the thing is, this dog that comes into your life, this dog's only attracted to the authentic people, you know? You, whenever, you know, I feel like anyone that's a dog owner, once uh, everyone always says every dog owner that I know is they, they are like, if my dog doesn't trust the person that um, comes into my house or a new person that comes into my house, I don't trust him either, you know? It's very much so that. And so in order for this dog to be attracted to you, they this dog's only attracted to your most authentic self. And so keep that in mind. For this new person to enter your life, for this new dog to enter your life, this loyal person, I, I don't want to keep end of referencing a dog for your next relationship. This loyal per but that's very much so the energy of this person is just very, just like, what's the word for it? just love without any restrictions love without any like specific guidelines it's just like just like the most authentic love that there is without any strings being attached but yeah like you guys have to do your part and just be your authentic self to attract this person that this extremely loyal person right the king of water card as well we have that says to open your heart to those around you and trustworthy and heartfelt advice i feel like you guys definitely and like even once you start owning your authentic self and you start attracting this person this is extremely loyal person you guys are going to have to be learn how to trust this person as well learning how to trust this dog person that comes into your life because it's like the universe can bring forth this lovely person this trustworthy person into your life but if you don't trust them, it doesn't matter <laughs> at all. If you're not willing to receive it, if you are feeling too insecure in the relationship and you feel like that this dog is always, again, I keep referencing this person as a dog, but referencing this trustworthy person and feel like they're always cheating on you, you could eventually just like push them away, really. And as I want to bring up with the full moon in Pisces, definitely very a lot of water cards. So like, this is going to be a very, like emotionally charged, like very loving relationship. I love it for you guys. But yeah, full moon in Pisces, balancing spirituality and practical practicality. I feel like for you guys in pile number three, well, yeah, you, I feel like a lot of you guys already trust your intuition a heavy, a heavy amount, but be careful about how much, where you, how your, uh, your intuition is influenced. And what I mean by this is that if you don't address your ego and if you don't address like your own shadows, you know, your insecurities might influence your ego or not your ego, your intuition a little bit. And so you might be mistaking your own insecurity as an intuition. So you might feel like this person is cheating on you and you feel like that's your intuition speaking when really it's just your insecurity, your ego speaking. So that's something to keep in mind as well. You know, if you want a thrive, this thriving relationship, you have to do your part and match this loyal person's energy you know you we can bring wonderful we can only the universe can only bring you know definitely before this person uh before the universe can bring this wonderful person into your life you have to kind of you have to be that much of a wonderful person as well you know you get what you re, you receive what you put out into the world and so really the higher vibrational person that you want the high, the more trustworthy loving person that you want you have to be someone that's worth be worthy of that kind of love and truly feel like you were, are worth that love right and then we have the eight of water, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So definitely, I feel like you guys in pile number three, you guys are very spiritual people, or if you're not sp super spiritual, um, you're, the person coming into your life is very spiritual. 
I feel like for you guys as well that this is before your next relationship there is something that, that you guys have to come to terms with and I do truly feel like it's something with like a trust issue in some kind of way or just feeling like addressing the insecurity that you guys have with feeling as if you might not feel like you're worthy of like a deep meaningful emotionally charged like very because like this relationship you guys is going to be very deep in that and just very it's going to bring out very deep emotions in you and if you're not ready for that you could just be scared off and just reject it because you just don't feel like you're worthy of that which is honestly it's very sad to even like think about it in that way but yeah that's what i'm getting for you guys you have to like really start addressing your own insecurities and just get yourself in the place of where you truly are accepting and will be able to receive like this deep impactful love but yeah that's the messages that i have for you guys and people in pile number three if you do have any questions let me know in the comments below i do hope this reading did bring you some some clarity um and if it did bring you some clarity let me know how which card resonated with you the most and how it resonated with you the most you already have some people in mind of like who this your reading might be talking about um but yeah i love you guys so much and if this reading did resonate resonate with you i would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me a lot and yeah i hope to hear from you guys soon bye guys all right people in pile number four let's see what your next relationship is going to look like what we can expect in it I'm very excited to see. So right off the bat, we have a lot of good cards for you guys. So what I'm getting for, what I first want to bring out is the Eight of Air. I feel like you guys, before your next relationship, you guys perhaps feel like you aren't going to be in a relationship again. People in pile number four, I feel like you guys kind of have given up on love a little bit. Maybe your past relationship really damaged you. You know, I feel like, yeah, your last relationship truly damaged you a little bit in the sense that you kind of have given up on love, whether like the person that you and see the thing is with how you guys I want this. I feel like your last relationship and maybe I'm wrong in this. Maybe for some of you guys, you, the relationship was bad and just not didn't serve you in the way that it needed to serve you. But I feel like for a lot of you guys in pile number four, your last relationship was like something that ended in a way that you didn't want, want it to end. I feel like you guys had a good relationship and something or someone chose to mess it up or like involve themselves in some kind of way. It's like at some point it just wasn't how your last relationship was or ended just was not in your control in some kind of in some kind of capacity and it really just damaged you guys I feel and so I feel like for you guys' next relationship just looking at the rest of your cards I feel like you know you guys have definitely done the work maybe your last relationship has been a few years now um but you guys have or your last serious relationship perhaps I want to say because I feel like some of you guys in pile number four have date, entertained dating a little bit and I want to say dating but I feel like when I say even dating for you guys you guys haven't truly like dated maybe you guys have like flirted online a little bit or something like that but you guys haven't like truly like dated dated in like a hot biscuit right so yeah what I'm getting for you guys in pile number four you guys have done a lot of like personal development and i love that so much because we have the hermit card which is like i feel like you guys have definitely like come, become like the hermit and you know with the full moon no i don't want to i don't feel like it's related to that but with the six of cups as well with the hermit card and the six of cups you kind of put things in perspective you know or if you haven't, you are in the process of it. Because I know for some of you guys, you're just afraid of your next relationship and you feel kind of trapped and like hopeless. But you know, for some, a lot of you guys, I feel like, ha I feel like this is what you guys were initially. And you guys are progressively getting to this point of where you are the hermit and you are hermiting and you are like getting a bigger perspective on everything and coming to peace with your last relationship. <clears throat> And not only just your last relationship, just being able to be happy with your life now. I feel like the more that you are at peace with your life, the more of this King of Air energy that you start owning with yourself. And the King of Air talks about speaking your mind with confidence, you know. You guys have been more vocal, you've been working on your throat chakra more. Maybe this last relationship really just affected like your self-esteem and like your voice. You know, you, you didn't stand up for yourself much in your last relationship perhaps. You didn't stand up to certain people that you should have. Maybe you have like your family. I'm getting like mother influence in some kind of way a lot do you got some of you guys in pal number four do you guys like was your mother involved in your last relationship well i don't want to say like you guys are dating your mother but did your mother have like some kind of impact in you guys's last relationship and like why it ended the way it did or like the dynamic of how it was perhaps i feel like i don't know very interesting 
just a thought for some of you guys in pile number four obviously it's not going to relate to all of you guys but yeah i feel like you guys have definitely like are starting to own and getting more confidence right now so you guys are truly building you know you guys are definitely out of all the four piles you pile number four you guys are definitely being rewarded for your character developing your um where have where you guys have fully like started you guys have truly done the work i feel and like are in the process of doing this work and it's going to be you know we have the new moon in capricorn this literally says your hard work is paying off and the full moon eclipse conclusions are within reach so you guys definitely are going the universe your guides your ancestors see where it like all the work that you've been doing and they see this and they respect it and they're so proud of you that's another thing i want to say is like i'm getting a lot of proud energy and like just yeah like so uh just good job you guys honestly i'm so happy for you guys in pile number four because like you are truly done the work for yourself because your last relationship is just you were not happy with the outcome of it obviously a lot of people are not going to be happy with their past relationship after it comes to an ending but like you guys just feel as if you could have perhaps done more or like you didn't like how it ended because or how things happened because there's just like insecurities maybe on both sides or just like issues on both sides that could have been avoided if you guys were just more both parties were just more mature or in a different mindset you know I, yeah you guys have just definitely taken from your last relationship and really done the work on yourself maybe you guys haven't been in a relationship in a hot biscuit just because you guys have just been hermiting and really just doing the character development that you've been really like needing sorely needing after your last relationship you know you, you got you guys have started getting to the point where you've been able to start appreciating this moment and every single moment in your life where you're just grateful to even be existing and this is definitely you guys, you guys are definitely people in pound number four exuding a very high energy and this is part of the reason why you guys are going to be attracting such a good person coming into your life um the next relationship coming into your life because you guys are ex just, just exuding such a high vibrational energy it's just beautiful the more work that you do for yourself the better that you're going to <sighs> attract but you know your vibe attracts your tribe and <laughs> you know your vibe right now is just beautiful it's just so high vibrational we have the sun card as well talking about a happy outcome you know this is like you guys are building this confidence if you guys aren't feeling confident i feel like you guys in pile number four truly are not owning the greatness that you guys are you guys are you guys are beautiful you guys are just so beautiful and the person that you're going to be coming with is going to match that beauty 100 percent. and so part of what i want you guys to do before this next relationship comes is to just have a very good relationship with yourself and yeah I know a lot of you guys in pile number four already have a very good relationship with yourself but I feel like you can go deeper with it I feel like this is the point it's just like okay you did all this self work on yourself guys now this is the point where you start falling in love with yourself falling in love with the aspects of yourself that you worked on and this start building your confidence up because the person that the universe is going to be rewarding you with is going to be someone that just like truly blows you away you know, I feel like because we have the peacock card, peacock card, which says let yourself stand out and be noticed, as well as the blue heron card, which says make it stand for what you believe in and do what you feel is right. Like you have a lot of bold cards right now. And I feel like for you guys, like I feel like you guys are going to how it's going to happen is like you guys are going to start you know and i feel like it's happening for you guys already right now like you guys are already exuding like this high vibrational energy and just like attracting just a lot of eyes i feel like you guys are definitely going to be pursued in your next relationship like you're going to be just very living your most authentic self just doing you and just like being the peacock that you are standing attention and just like commanding attention and those who are able to like match that energy and really be able to handle that peacock energy of yours they're going to be attracted to that powerful energy and to start pursuing you but if you don't work if you don't have that good self-confidence and you feel like you're not worthy of someone of high caliber uh meeting you or matching you or even being interested in you you know it serves you no good being that peacock attracting attracting these eyes if you aren't willing to accept anyone that's pursuing you does that make sense so yeah a lot of wonderful cards for you guys very straightforward for people in the pile number four but i definitely feel like a very positive relationship a very deep relationship and a very like long-term relationship long-term relationship is going to happen for you guys you guys are truly being rewarded by the universe for your next relationship and because they see the work that you've been putting in yourself i can tell just from the energy from connecting with the energy and i'm so proud of you your guys are very proud of you and just yeah a very good beautiful reading for you guys and so that's the cards that i have for you guys and people in pile 
pile number four. If this reading did resonate with you, I would love to hear about it. Um, please let me know how these cards resonated with you and what way it resonated with you in the comments below. And also, if it did resonate with you, I would love a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much. But until next time, guys, I love you guys so much. Bye.